There you and go. So, <laughs> yeah, whether you're using the product database or the extension or the opportunity finder, I've pointed out you can always add individual products to Jungle Scout's product tracker. So that's the next tool I'm going to show. We have lots of tools that are formatted similarly. So you'll see our other trackers look similar to this when I get to them. But it's important that when you do product research, you actually track the product's performance over time. Because let's say that we did the search today and we found a product that looked amazing because it had relatively low competition and the selling price was good and there's clearly demand for it. But perhaps the data we saw today was just they had a good day today. And maybe in general, they don't sell that many of them. Or vice versa, maybe it, we like, oh, this product doesn't look like a good opportunity, but it was just having a bad sales day, but it could represent a great opportunity. So we want to track their performance over time using the tracker. And you can see here, we have lots of tabs that we've created at the top that we can name these tabs, whatever we want. So we can organize our products in a way that makes sense to us. I'm mm -hmm. going to go to the washable pee pads because this is a product that Jungle Scout actually sells on Amazon under our Jungle Creations account. And you can see here that we've got 24 individual uh, washable pee pads on here. And that's important that it says washable pee pads. This is for training puppies so that they know to go to the door when they want to go outside. Mm -hmm. And uh, we specifically sell a washable one, not a disposable one. So when I add products to this tracker, I want to make sure they're all very, very similar products so that we can get the data is relevant to all of them. So just like the database, we got this table here. But if I click the little view button, it'll show me this historic chart for things like how many units have sold over time how the sales rank on Amazon has changed. I could even see how the seller's inventory has changed if we have access to that data. And the buy box tells me how the price has changed over time as well. Mm -hmm. Now, because I'm using the professional account, I get six months of historic data for this, but our basic plan will offer a month of historic data and the suite plan will offer three months. So the more data, the better. And I always recommend that people try to track something for at least a month to make sure that it's a mm -hmm. solid opportunity before they invest money in a product. But the other thing I wanted to show you is that beyond the historic charts for an individual listing, we can also see this aggregate info for our grouping of products. This is really similar to the way the extension collected all that data from the first page of search results and then gave me an average daily sales number and average selling price and all of that. The difference is that these numbers are relevant only to the specific products that I've chosen to add to this list. Extension was all of the products that showed up on the first page of search results. So mm -hmm. this way I can get an idea for whether this little niche that I've created mm -hmm. looks like it's solid niche that will, you know, build a good